This is the town of Kupyansk in northeast Ukraine. It's only about 20 miles from the Russian border and right now the nearest Russian troops are only about five miles um, up in that direction behind me. Um, control of this town has swung back and forth during the last two years of the war. The Russians initially took it at the start of the invasion two years ago. Then in about September 2022, the Ukrainians recaptured it. Now, two years on, the Russians are trying to take it again. We're now driving out of Kupyansk up towards a Ukrainian artillery position. A lot of the roads around here are very muddy during this time and you can only really get around in a four-wheel drive. So we're now in an underground bunker in a field somewhere outside of Kupiansk. But now we're going to have a, a chat to the, uh, uh, the soldiers who are in this bunker. This is where they live, um, in this small room. It's about 10 feet wide um, and about uh, 8 feet uh, the other direction. You've got a, um, a little cooker down there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty enclosed uh, space. They're going to be here for a week or more at a time, just living on these beds. Um, very little room to move around. Um, generally a pretty kind of uncomfortable place to be spending your time. The war has been going on for two years now. Um, how do they feel it's going? I mean, do they feel it's going like better than it was, say, this time last year? Ну, як коли, тоді було якось краще чи хуже, зараз буває хуже, тоді було лучше. Ну, воно все одно 50 на 50. Постало зависить. Do they feel the West is letting them down a bit at the moment? Ну, трошки негативно. Хотілося б, щоб допомогли, да швидше би ця війна закінчилася, да, щоб якось воно краще було. What, what do they think of people who don't want to fight? Всі бояться. Ну то якщо всі будуть бояться, ніхто не буде йти, ну то вони прийдуть, заберуть і все, і нічого не буде. We're now going to go and see um, a piece of artillery being fired at the Russian lines. So hidden inside this spot here, amid the trees and the leaves and the camouflage, is a large artillery gun. This is pretty typical of what you see in Ukraine. Um, they're really pretty well hidden. If you were driving past here, you wouldn't see anything at all, most likely. And the idea is just to keep them as concealed as possible from the Russian drones and anything, any other enemy activity. How does it feel firing a gun at the soldiers, knowing that they're doing the same thing back to him? Does he ever think about what it's like, you know, to be uh, firing a gun onto the same guys and, you know, the kind of pain he's inflicting? Might be inflicted back on him. 